Hello everyone, it's Isaac. We are reviewing, testing the Prado S commuter bike from VeloWave. Full disclosure, VeloWave did send me this bike to do this review on and kind of talk about it and show you guys the bike. Uh, one of the things I want to start out with is in bus life, sometimes we have decently sized buses that are kind of difficult to find parking and get around city scapes so it's nice having a second form of transportation having something like this where i could park the bus and go zip around town on the bike is kind of a luxury so that's why you might want to consider i know a lot of people are doing tow cars doing motorcycles all kinds of things definitely consider an e-bike the benefit of doing an e-bike with van life or bus life is you can uh, charge this thing off your solar so you don't gotta go fill it with gas things like that it's more sustainable cheaper right uh this bike sells normally and the thing about it is everybody always changes their prices so i hesitate to tell you what it is but normally 1700 right now it's selling for 1400 i do have a little bit of a discount code and it does help the channel if you end up wanting one of these bikes if you purchase it through my links below those will all be in the description but let's not talk about buying a bike let's actually talk about the bike when the bike came it came in a box and you know you, you it, it, it had some tools but I definitely used some of my own tools to put this thing together so I would say it's probably pretty intermediate as far as like putting the bike together and you do have to inflate your tires so you need a pump or an air compressor something like that now, this has the basket upgrade. They don't normally come with the baskets, but I mean, you know, for what I want to use it for, going to the store and grabbing groceries or whatever, having those baskets is definitely nice. Once the bike was put together, I think it looks cool, which is an opinion type of deal. Obviously, you can look right at the bike, right? They have a few different colors. I ended up getting the black on black on black just for that kind of tactical look. They say this thing will go 45 miles. I haven't pushed it that far. I mean, shoot, we, we charged the battery when we first got the bike here and we've been ripping on this thing for days. And then we, ch so it's like, we're not really that worried about charging it really, but we haven't, we haven't definitely ran it to its limit. They say it'll go 45 miles, but you know. Now, all e-bikes have, you know, usually it's pedal assist. So uh, you put it on the pedal assist mode and when you're pedaling, it's going to help propel you forward, right? And there's also usually a throttle by itself. Now, the throttle is over here and it's a thumb throttle. This is my only kind of negative, right? Anybody who grew up riding motorcycles like I did, the throttle's always on the right side, right? Some quads, they have the thumb throttle like that, but it's always on the right side. So for the throttle being on the left side kind of throws me off a little bit. But I mean, it functions, it works great, but if you definitely grew up riding motorcycles or things like that, that'll probably throw you off like it did me. If you don't have any of that experience, you're probably not even gonna realize it does have a light on the front so you can be riding this sucker at night and kind of see where you're going and it's got some pretty fat knobby tires so you know which is really cool if you want to be going off road in and I, we always rip in the dirt on these things and you know it's got seven speeds if you want to use it like a normal bike which you totally can i just wanted to give you my thoughts overview on like my experience with the bike and why i think an e-bike for bus life really is a good move and uh they do have financing available if you don't want to just come up with a whole bunch of cash to buy one of these uh, i like the bike you know i love having e-bikes so if you're considering getting an e-bike, VeloWave is definitely one to consider. They're not super expensive. They're not super cheap either. They're like somewhere in the middle, which is really cool. And they have a bunch of other models too. This is just the one I like. Now, if you end up do wanting to check one of these out, you can get way more details off of their website. You can help the channel out by, if you do buy one of these, you could use my codes below. It also saves you a little bit of money. 
Again, VeloWave did send me this bike, full disclosure. And yeah, if you end up liking one, go buy one. But ripping on e-bikes is pretty fun. So thanks you guys for hanging out. VeloWave, thanks so much for sending this bike over. And this is Isaac signing out. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.